tuning in. This is 26 Sports with the weekend recap. That was Meyer Hamadouche and Canelo Plant. Two unifications and an undisputed champion crown this past weekend. We will start off with a tampering card that featured Maya Hamadouche, a unification in the women junior lightweight division. First, we're going to start off with Rowdy Legend Montgomery, who picked up a big knockout in the third round over Marches McGregor. YouTube it, Twitter, or find it on ESPN Plus as the replay happens. Next up, we're going to have Abdullah Mason, a 17-year-old prodigy who came through and picked up a second-round knockout over Jalen Phillips in his pro debut. This kid looks like he's got it all. Tune into him going forward. Also, Ian Green picked up a big upset over Tyler Howard as he nearly won uh, by straight sweep unanimous decision in the biggest victory of his career up to this point. Andres Cortez continues his ascension as he picked up another victory this year uh, by knockout in the third round of Mark Bernaldez in their junior lightweight bout. The controversial fight of the card was Luis Melendez getting a victory over Thomas Matisse. Many seen Matisse winning, including myself, but Melendez was awarded the controversial decision victory. And of course, Michaela Mayer came through in possibly the women's fight of the year for sure, and one of the best fights period of the year. She picked up the victory over Hamadouche by unanimous decision with questionable scorecards, but she was a rightful victor. That leads us to Canelo Plants. Uh, the biggest fight of the year as Canelo and Caleb Plant met for the unification of the 168-pound division. And it would be the first ones to accomplish this goal. And it was a hell of a card, hell of a fight. We'll start off first with Alves Rodriguez. As After being released, he picked up his first victory of his, uh, since signing with PBC by knockout in the fifth round. Next up was Ray Vargas, a very interesting fighter in the 126 pound division fighting for the first time in two years he won a unanimous decision over leonardo Baez, 100 to 90 and 99 to 91 and then the knockout of the night belongs to anthony durrell as he came back uh from a tough fight earlier this year to pick up a one-punch knockout of madman marcos hernandez in their fight in the co feature then we led us to caleb plant and Canelo Alvarez. Biggest fight again of the super middleweight division in years. The biggest fight of the year. Caleb came out, looked really relaxed, looked ready to go. Didn't seem like the moment was too big for him as uh, I thought it may have been. Came out and, uh, you know, just as I said, ready to go. Canelo again came out with Mana singing the songs for him. Seemed real relaxed as usual. He's been here before, he's done this before. And he seemed ready, primed, and you know, just going to accomplish his goal of becoming the 168-pound undisputed champion. But again, Caleb seemed poised, relaxed. Again, like the moment wasn't too big for him. And put forward a great effort as both men, with all the trash talk, all the back-and-forth banter leading up to this fight, finally got to this moment and were ready to go for this big, big fight. Again, early on, Caleb gave a good account of himself. He was landing his jab, moving around, uh, keeping Canelo at bay, making him work through the first four or five rounds. I had it even or Caleb up, possibly. Canelo kept coming forward, kept putting the pressure on, uh, wasn't getting the shots that he wanted all the time, but was going to the body. And again, that nonstop pressure from Canelo seemed to begin to start wearing Caleb Plant down as the fight went on. Caleb, to his credit, man, he kept coming forward. I mean, he kept staying in the pocket, uh, threw punches back, got a lot of good counters. He was using a shoulder roll. He, he put it into this fight, uh, kept his hands up, moved around. Um, but again, eventually, Canelo, just with the body work and body work and the nonstop constant pressure, seemed to start catching up to Plant. Plant's best round in the second half of the fight was more than likely the ninth round, as he was able to catch Canelo a lot, use his quick hands, use the uh, superior movement, and take that round to me uh, through that fight as uh, I had Canelo winning the majority of the ending of the fight from about the sixth round on. Uh, I had given Canelo four of those last five rounds. Uh, but again, Plant was no joke, no slouch. He stayed in it. But eventually he was caught with that big left hand in the 11th round. Stunned him. 
got caught with the uppercut right after, went down, got up, attempted to finish the fight. Canelo got him against the ropes, became the, uh, you know, he is reason for he's the best finisher right now at the moment. Knocked him down. Fight was stopped. After the fight, both fighters exchanged penalties, showed respect, you know, and said at the end of the day, it's a business. And they had nothing but respect and admiration for each other for the fight they had put on. But at the end of the day and at the end of the event, Canelo is now king of the 168-pound division and of boxing. Congratulations to Sal Canelo Alvarez, the undisputed champ. And we'll see what comes forward for him next.